Hey everyone, Dan here. I want to show you how to use the liquify tool again. This time we're going to use it for some apparel retouching. So I've got this great shot of this purple sweatsuit. The only problem is right here, there's kind of an ugly little pooch that pops out from the way that the sweatshirt is cut. So we're just going to grab the liquify tool. I'm going to use the pinch option this time and I'm just going to come right over the top and I'm just going to pinch right on that region. As I move it around, it's going to continue to pinch even more. See, I've kind of pinched it away. Let me turn that on off so you can see before and after. Now the cool thing is because everything is re-editable, I can grab that stroke and I can even move it around to refine it. So you can see after the fact, I can pull and tug and maybe want to bring it down a little bit so I can kind of keep the shape of the pocket looking a little bit more realistic here. And I can also adjust the size of the brush that was used. So maybe a little bit smaller brush would help. And I can adjust the pressure, which controls the overall amount of that adjustment. It's easy to overdo it on these kind of things. I want to keep things looking natural. There we go. I can dial it down a little bit. Let's take a look at the before and after. So there's before and after. Just tucking that little pooch in. We can do the same thing right up here on the arm. There's another little pooch sticking up. So I'm just going to use that pucker tool that I've got selected. And now I'll just click and contract that in just a little bit. And again, I can use my re-editability to move and adjust where that's applied, how strong the adjustment is, and even change my brush size after the fact. There we go. Before and after. Here's a really gorgeous shot. The only thing I'd like to change is I'd like to take her hairline and maybe bring it up just a little bit. So I'll use the liquify tool. We'll use the push option here. And watch, all I'm going to do now is just grab her hairline and I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. So that will bring the hairline up on top of her forehead just a little bit more. Let's take a look before and after. Before and after. It just kind of tilted the head a little bit and brought that hairline up just a little. And like I showed you before, I can adjust with the pressure control how strong that adjustment is. And with the size tool, I can control how big the brush stroke was. I could even move it around if I needed to. Until I get just the perfect adjustment. That's the crazy thing about having a completely re-editable, non-destructive liquify tool. You can go back at any time and adjust everything that you've done. There you go. Thanks for watching.